Hello, everyone. Uh, I am Evangelia Petura. As Ogur said, I am a professor at the University of Ioannina in Greece. And this is a joint work with, my, with uh, two ex-students in our lab, Sotiris, who is now with King, Kostandinos, who is now with IBM Research uh, in Europe, and my colleague, Panagiotis Chaparas. So why algorithmic fairness? Uh, today, we use a variety of uh, systems based on large amount of data, recommendation systems, personal assistance, search engines, to help us in forming opinions and taking decisions. For example, uh, we use such systems for personal, uh, uh, to assist us in personal decisions, such as uh, where to dine, which talk to take, which school to attend. We all, such systems are also used uh, by uh, organizations, uh, public and par par uh, private organizations for financial issues, insurance, credit, housing, pricing of goods, for in-loan enforcement, uh, for decisions related to healthcare, for education in job recruitment. So uh, the question is, can, uh, should we trust the systems? And there have been various cases uh, where uh, biases in the data were reflected or even exaggerated by the algorithms. Algorithmic fairness uh, wants to ensure this non-discrimination by modifying uh, the input of the algorithm or the algorithm itself or the output of an algorithm so the results uh, are not influenced by protected or sensitive att attributes such as, uh, for example, gender, religion, age. Um, in general, we have two uh, levels where we can apply algorithmic fairness at the individual level, where we ask that the algorithm treat each and every individual fairly, and at the group level, where individuals are partitioned into groups according to their protected attribute, and we want all groups to be treated uh, fairly. In our work, uh, we focus on graphs. So why graphs? Uh, graphs are a, a generic model for entities and their interactions, relations, and dependencies. We have various kinds of graphs, social, cooperation, citation, interaction, communication, um, you name it. Uh, so in most such graphs, not all nodes are equal, in the sense that some nodes hold more important or central positions in their network than other nodes. Take, for example, uh, influences. Uh, in this work, we take a group-based approach we assume uh, two groups, let's call them the red group and the blue group, and we uh, ask whether power centrality is allocated to each group in a fair manner. Uh, to measure a uh, note importance, centrality, power, we use PageRank. PageRank is a well-known algorithm. Uh, it was uh, pioneered by Google in uh, its early days. Uh, PageRank assigns a value PV to each node that signifies the importance of V. Um, in simple terms, a node is important if important nodes point to it. Concretely, each node distributes its PageRank to its neighbors, and the PageRank of a neighbor of a node is the sum of the PageRank fractions it collects from its neighbors. There is also a very uh, nice uh, relation of PageRank to random walk. So um, given a graph, uh, we do a random walk on the graph as follows. We select randomly a node and we start the walk from this node. At each step of the random walk, with probability one minus a gamma, we move to one of uh, the neighbors of the current node. And with probability gamma, we move, we jump to another node. That is, we restart the random walk from a randomly selected node. Now, the page rank vector is the stationary distribution of this random walk, meaning that the page rank allocated to node, node V is equal to the probability of the random walk ending at node V. Uh, as I said, we have two groups. We have the red and the blue group. And let's assume that the red group is the protected group. We call red page rank the sum of the page rank of the red nodes, and blue page rank the sum of the page rank of the of uh, the blue nodes and we want uh, enough patron to go to the red to the protected group uh, more specifically we say that the algorithm is fifth fair if the patron the red patron is equal to phi phi is input to our model but uh, in this talk i will assume that phi is equal to the fraction of the red nodes in the graph 
This gives us a form of democratic fit parity. Of course, we can uh, have different values of fee. For example, we can have a fixed value of, of, uh, of fee, say one half. In this case, we ask that uh, the protected groups, group uh, take one half of, uh, of the patron independently of uh, the size of the protected group. Now let's see an example. Uh, this is a, a, gra a network, a graph with uh, about 1,200 um, nodes. The nodes uh, correspond to political uh, blocks and the protected attribute is the political orientation. We have two groups, uh, the left or red group and the right or blue group. Uh, in this example, 48% uh, of the nodes are red nodes. Almost half of the nodes are red nodes. However, they take only 33% of the patron. So in this uh, case, we have a graph that it's not fee fair in terms of uh, democratic, demographic parity. Besides page rank, we also consider personalized page rank. Uh, in personalized page rank, it's vector, it's node in, um, in, in the graph, uh, ranks all other nodes. And this ranking uh, is, is called the personalized page rank vector of V. Uh, we denote it with P subscript V. Uh, let's see how we get this uh, personalized page rank vector. We modify the random walk. So instead of starting our walk from a random uh, no, uh, node, we start our walk from V. And instead uh, of jumping with probability V to a random node, we always jump back to V. We start the walk uh, from V. By doing so, we stay in the neighborhood of V. Uh, now PV for node U is the relative importance of U for V. Uh, how node V ranks node V. We ask uh, that besides the overall page rank, we also ask that uh, the personalized page rank of each node is fair. So we again, we define the red personalized page rank uh, for a node as the sum of the personalized page rank of V that goes to red nodes, and the blue personalized page rank for V is the sum of the personalized page rank of V that goes to blue nodes. And we ask that this is equal to phi. The red page rank is equal to phi. Uh, a fair personalized page rank vector, PV, means that node V has a fair view of the network. So let's see again an example. Uh, here we have a different network. Uh, nodes correspond to books, and there is a link between uh, two books if those would books were bought together. Again, uh, the sensitive attribute is uh, the political orientation of the book. And the two uh, groups, the red and the blue group, in this case, have equal size. R is, one, is about one half. To illustrate a personalized page rank uh, uh, fairness, uh, we plot two distributions. One for uh, the uh, personalized, the red personalized page rank of the red node, and one and one for the red personalized uh, uh, page rank of the blue nodes. If all page rank or personalized page rank were fair, we would expect that these two distributions were the same. They would overlap with their mean on value r. However, we get uh, in most cases we get a plot like the one you see in the slide. Uh, where the red, the, the blue nodes, uh, the blue nodes allocate a, a very small part of uh, their page rank to uh, red uh, nodes, in this case around uh, less than 10%, uh, whereas the red nodes allocate a very large portion of their personalized page rank to red nodes, in this case over 80%. Uh, this is very common in many ne networks due to homophily the tendency of nodes to connect uh, with similar nodes. That's why um, the largest part of the pay personalized page rank of a node goes to nodes uh, of, of its own color. Okay, so uh, there are networks where, there, where the personalized page rank or the page rank is not fair. What can we do? Can we make the network fairer? And we suggest uh, making the network fair using a uh, recommendation, recommending appropriate links. Links that uh, if uh, they are accepted, then the overall fairness of the network is improved. So um, we, are, we address two questions, which edges should we recommend and how can we find these edges efficiently? For the first question, we have um, uh, worked out a close analytical form 
for the gain, for the increase of the red page rank by suggesting uh, a net X, uh, Y. Uh, this, uh, the increase in the red uh, page rank depends on two factors, lambda that will explain, uh, I will explain next, and the page rank of the source. The more center of the source node, the better. Uh, a similar form, we get a similar form for the personalized page rank. Now, um, lambda, this is the formula for lambda, and let me explain uh, what's the, this, the thing, what this formula actually uh, tells us about link uh, y, uh, x, y. The red uh, part uh, on the nu uh, numerator is a difference between uh, the red personalized page rank of the target and the average red personalized page rank of the current neighbors of x. Uh, this, the larger the difference, uh, the better, the, the, the larger the gain. Uh, so it, it, it pays to add links to uh, redder neighborhoods. In the denominator, we have the degree of the uh, source node. Source nodes with small degree are, are preferred because they allocate a large portion uh, of their page rank to the new node. And the purple factor is um, uh, says that we need to connect uh, with the destination nodes that are relatively close to the source node. Uh, that way we close uh, the loop and we get uh, loops uh, that they uh, increase uh, the page rank. Okay, so what um, does this um, uh, uh, formula says? What are good edges to recommend? Uh, to sum up, uh, good edges, edges are edges that have sources with small degree and a large page rank value and point to a node located in an area where the minority group is represented more than in the area of the source. What does it tell us for, uh, for real networks? Um, for example, in a social network, uh, we need to convince central people that follow few other people and are in an area where the minority are is underrepresented to connect with a person with people central in the minority group, if we want to increase uh, the fairness of uh, the page rank fairness. Okay, now we, that we have a formula for computing the gain of uh, adding um, uh, edges, um, we, we can use it uh, to, to find appropriate and uh, to recommend. So uh, for each node uh, X, we can use the formula to, um, find the best destination X. Um, to do so, we need to, for each candidate uh, V, uh, to compute the personalized page rank of V for the group, and also the personalized page rank uh, of V for to the source. Doing this naively uh, would uh, require quadratic time. So we propose a more efficient way to do this using uh, absorbing random walks. Um, so we use uh, different absorbing random box for computing uh, PV, the, the personalized page rank for the group, and for computing the personalized page rank V for the source. And now let's move uh, to the evaluation of uh, our approach. Um, besides our link recommendation that is based on uh, uh, recommended edges that increase fairness, we also um, uh, compare our algorithm with the classical link recommendation algorithms. Algorithms that uh, use uh, scores like preferential attachment, jacker coefficient, and dummy adder. Uh, recommenders based on embedding, uh, specifically on node to VEC and fair walk, which uh, is a modification of node to VEC that uses fair random box and random recommendations. And we have uh, two algorithms to the um, fairness rec algorithms. It algorithm that increase the page rank of the red group and the personalized rec algorithm. A rec, a rec algorithm that increase the personalized page rank. We also have um, uh, probabilistic versions of these two algorithms that also you uh, take into account the uh, probability of um, uh, accepting this link as computed using uh, uh, no two vec. Uh, to evaluate uh, our algorithm, we recommend the link selected based, based on the corresponding link recommendation algorithm. We do so in rounds. At each round, we recommend one edge to 10% of the nodes, and we compute the change in, in the rent page rank at each round. This is the page rank we, we get from known uh, the page rank fairness, the increase in, uh, in red page rank of known recommendation algorithms. 
uh, we can see that the increase, we get uh, very small differences. Uh, recommendation based on local criteria like uh, the Chakart and the ADA, the Adamic Agder uh, uh, coefficient do not affect the fairness of the network, whereas we have small fluctuation for the uh, node to vet and preferential attachment. And this is how our algorithms perform. Um, uh, both our uh, algorithms of based on fairness, uh, FREC and the uh, the, the blue and the red, FREC is the fairness recommendation. This is the uh, probability based one, increase uh, based on fair, uh, based on red based on uh, fairness. And finally, for the personalized page rank fairness, we plot the distance between the distribution of personalized page rank for the blue and the red nodes. I, uh, ideally, these two uh, distributions should be similar. And this is what we get. Uh, using our PREC and uh, the APREC algorithm. Uh, to conclude, we have developed close formulas for the importance of existing edges in a network. I propose a link recommendation algorithm that consider fairness as one of their goals. And we presented efficient uh, implementation of this algorithm. Uh, this can be seen as a first approach towards changing the network instead of the algorithm. Thank you.